Bros play. So I've discovered something. What'd you discover, bro? Uh, mucho burrito. Haha, <laughs> do you did tell me about this. Dude, it's so good. I have never been inside one. And then and then the the same day or the next day, Dad and I went to um uh Subway and I got like I felt like a kind of like anger that I got when I was a kid. <laughs> so every time I go to Subway, some fuckstick on the other side of the counter makes me feel bad for not getting more shit on my subway. And it pisses me off so much. It's Does like, shut still the happen? fuck up. You are being paid hourly. This is not commission. Put the shit on the food and let me buy it. That's so funny. I never really thought about it that way, but that's kind of what it's like. I've had It's people... like they're getting money from upsell. Like, yeah. oh, if you put pickles on it, I'll make three bucks more. Yeah, exactly. Like, I... <laughs> when people order a pizza and they're like, no, <laughs> no cheese... And no, nothing. Like, just like, I just want bread and sauce. I'm like, okay, anything else today? I'm not like, really? Is that all you want? It's a pizza, do you know that? It's like, if you want breadsticks in the shape of, of a pizza, that's what you get, all right? It's, you're the customer. Fucking whatever. I hate it. I hate going to Subway now. And now that I found Mucho Burrito, I'm fucking done with Subway. So when do you get it? I, me and Subway are done. I love the hatred. <laughs> uh, so what... What would you get on your sub? Like just uh, like a meatball sub? Uh, it was all over the place. Like or just everything. Uh, meatball sub for a while, and then sometimes I'll get like those premium like chicken ones, but they're so expensive for what you're getting. Um, and then I tried the crispy chicken, which I'm totally aware they they, they that thing that that chicken just sits. It is not crispy. <laughs> it's, it's more <laughs> like a soggy chicken. <laughs> it's it's um, true. It's not gonna be fresh. I got that's like for a, sure. a teriyaki thing and a wrap the other day. And, uh... Yeah, how are their, how are their big old white wraps? They're pretty good. Really? They're pretty decent, but... They get stuck on the roof of your mouth? No. Okay. Uh, I, th I don't think so. That's one thing I always hate. It's like, sometimes I find flour tortillas, like, stick to the roof of my oh. mouth, like, like a sheet of peanut butter. What? It's just, I have, like, um, stuck there. Yeah, I've experienced that, but I, I have, um, I have braces, I have permanent braces on the inside of my teeth. Oh, right. So, I've been, I've been conscious of... Uh, of things like that since I was a kid, so I don't I don't really eat aggressively enough to get it stuck in the first place. I'm sure like in like tomorrow I'll just be like, "Damn you, wraps." <laughs> ah. uh, but yeah, I I guess I started eating all those things they used to shame me for not eating. Like now when I go, I get almost every topping. Oh, right. So now I don't hear it anymore, but that's only because I've actually conformed to their peer pressure. Like, those what, what, what fucking I, monsters. What I figured out was that. Did you do it? Yeah. Oh. Oh. It does like the same mission screen for failing and succeeding. So I was like, I paused because I thought we'd fail it again. Couldn't tell if it was over. Yeah. She's but, like, you um, better get out of there. They're going to be pissed. But if I get disguised, yeah, okay. Now I can just drive out. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh. That's how, I, that's how I did this one. I just... A disguise. Whoa. Look at look at how much this road was scorched by the building falling. That's crazy. That would not happen. No, it wouldn't happen. You'd have to hit like the boiler or something to... Explode a building. Otherwise, yeah. it would just be rubble. Yeah, well, Barney this rubble. the way it happens kind of reminds me of Rampage, where the buildings <laughs> just shake and then sink into the ground and oh, then they're gone. That would be classic, dude. Dude, you should play Rampage. What do you think? What was the first video game we ever played? Because that was like in the first ten. The first game we ever played ever. Yeah. That's a hard one. I, I think for me it was Commander Keen. Commander Keen? Yeah. On what? DOS. Really? <laughs> yeah. Because my first one may have been, like, Chips Challenge. Chips Challenge! And what was that other game with with the with the, the, the rat and the mouse? Or the mouse and the cat? What yeah. Was that called? Cheese something? I do remember that one, and you had to, as the mouse, you had to push around the blocks and not get yeah. caught by the cats and then go find the cheese. Yeah, I have Chips Challenge and Commander Keen. Uh... Chip challenge, I don't think would would really translate. Really, it's a challenging game. Yeah, man. man. When you get to the ice pads, yeah, it's really hard. So should I pre-play it? Maybe actually, yeah. I'm not going to. Why not? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> but chips challenge. But man, rampage. That was yeah. funny. We, dad rented, uh, rented. Yeah, he rented an N64. You know, you're going back when we were ways. kids. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I've never heard that guy say that. Yeah. But, all right. 
The one piece that moves where I want and strikes what I need. Strikes what I need. That's actually a really good example of why so many people prefer private sector to public sector. Yeah. That's, remember, a, that's a good example. You remember, like, I don't, I, don't, I don't really care to go into the politics of the actual circumstance, but you remember that woman, I think it was last year, and, she, and uh, gay marriage was legal, and she refused oh. to marry two gay people? Yeah, she refused to give them a marriage license. Yes. And in that situation... It was easier to put her in jail than it was to fire her. They jailed her for that? Yeah. She went to jail for like a week. Interesting. Yeah. A, a, a judge couldn't... Fi- like No one could fire her because of the way that the system was set up, but they could put her in prison easier. That's a really... I don't think you should go to prison for something like that. It's a lot... Because she, well, she was... she Anyway, it's not important. But yeah. the, 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 the point of bringing that up is that you have a system that is so weirdly balanced that it's easier to put someone, to incarcerate someone than to fire them for not doing the job that they're part of. That's true, so but have... also go- going to prison for a week is like a slap on the wrist compared to losing the Your way job? you make money. Yeah. I suppose. Right? I'd much rather go to prison for a week than lose my job. Really? Yeah. Well, because assuming... Oh, I guess it's different. Assuming I, I your work like, understands, right? Yeah, I'd be <clears> like, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> you fire me. <laughs> That, yeah, yeah that, that is true. It depends on your job, right? This fucking but, bridge. I know. All bridges. All uh, bridges. I remember there being this uh, yeah, other bridges. thing where a uh, a Muslim woman was beginning work as a stewardess. Yes. And she didn't want to serve alcohol because yeah. it's against her religion. And I think it was Philip DeFranco who pointed out. He said, the woman who wouldn't give the marriage license did it because... That has how it's always been. It's it always changed. been illegal. Yeah. And it changed on her. And, you know, I'm not saying you have the right to, to refuse government orders because whatever. But it's not like she walked into the job and went, no, nah, this is wrong. Yeah. Right? Well, the uh, other woman knew. She they, knew that was going to be a requirement. Flights, yeah. since flights have existed. But also, like, just you can't drink it, but are you allowed to serve it? Does it say anything about that? I don't know. I don't know. See, I don't know either. But... That's why these controversies come up. And skating neatly past those complicated topics. (laughs) What do you mean skating neatly? We're just going to jump over them like a hurdle. I was just going to move on because I I knew I shouldn't have brought that up in the first place. It's fine. I don't want to turn the comment section into a political battle because politics is a giant load of shit and a waste of time for anyone who's not in politics. Uh, Yes and no. If right. you, and if you argue politicians... with me, then this is a conversation about <laughs> politics, which is a waste of time. I'm just joking. Keep going. Well, because uh, <laughs> if you do nothing, politicians will still be elected. Yeah. It, like, if you could stop the process, then it would be great to just be like, yeah, okay, we'll just, you know, no more, no more politics. I think we should put one single networked computer in charge of the entire world. I can't see that backfiring networked at all. Networked computer. I yeah, love how specific networked. you are about its lack of security. It needs, it needs, uh, what? Did you just bounce that? No. No, no. Oh, because you blew up two at the same time. I don't think so. I think it's just the other one was behind it. Oh. Uh, but I was uh, I was talking to my girlfriend yesterday about um, she does tanning and, and she goes tanning yeah she goes like tanning people. place or she tans like she T- tans leather Did she, tan- <laughs> she stretches uh, and tans leather yeah exactly can She's you working can with you all hook these me up because I I need a new I need this um, see how this couch is like falling apart dude nothing can be done for this couch get and a new that's one that's why I want her uh, to tan me some leather some leathers find me a bovine lummox. Oh, fine, Lomax. Rip out its intestines. I want I want the intestines as a scarf. As a scarf? That's yeah. fucked up, dude. It's not fucked up. It's dead. <sighs> All right? So, Don't blame the cow. So she's telling me that um, when you have to do something like that, you have to fill out a health history. Really? Right? Cause, well, because not, not everyone can be... Um, can get that done right like, like if you like have certain UV skin lighting, conditions yeah. like there's lots of, lots of reasons that could be an issue also if you're under 18 you're not supposed to be able to do it without permission oh. like from a guardian so there's, there's a lot of stuff like that but i realized all of a sudden if someone wanted they could definitely go and and find all of your little bits of information at all the various places that you go you know they could go and figure out like you know, what information is stored here? What information is stored there? They could break into, like, your yoga studio and mm-hmm. figure out all your info. But imagine when there's artificial intelligence. It will do all of that in a second. 
it'll find all of the information that exists about yeah. you. Yeah. Any information on any networked computer, as long as it is somehow somewhat connected to the internet, it'll have it. Yeah. That's why that movie I was telling you about, Kill Command, the one where, um, the one where the robots summon the marines just so they can essentially practice on them. Yeah. So that movie, one of the characters is like half human, half robot. And so oh. whenever she looks at one of the soldiers, she instantly knows everything about them. She has their files. She has everything that's ever been, like, said or done. Yeah. Right? And I just thought, that's so creepy. Like, even nowadays it could be done, but it would take a lot of time. Soon it won't even take time. Soon it'll just be like, yeah, no big deal. We'll just collect three terabytes worth of information on this guy. Well, once we figure out how, uh, how to make light go faster than the speed <sighs> it's already at, because that's the limit right now. Dude. Because you, you can only push light so fast. And, well, actually, you can't push light at all. Well, you can only send light in the direction so fast. Yeah. This is a very... That's what, uh, this is a... I got that from a guy from... A network guy from Blizzard. Really? Yeah, because they were talking about... Oh, like, right. Trying to make servers and... And uh, how... It, like, when WoW first came out, you... There was things you just couldn't do because servers just weren't there and internet wasn't there. But now it's, like, got to the point where... He's like, There's only, we can only push light so fast. Like, at, at that point, it's like, that's it. That's the end. The only, the only thing we can do is just have more reliable light pushers. <laughs> it is really true, though. That's I think we've actually had this discussion because I remember mentioning that that is why they put a cache on the CPU itself. Because it's having the information right next to the processor is essentially the only way to cut down that travel time. Because oh. if you have to travel from your processor to your memory bank, which is maybe two or three inches, it's going to take light a couple fractions of a second to do that. Hmm. Right? And, and that couple fractions of a second will add up when you consider your computer can do like a million instructions a second. That's really cool. Yeah. So now your computer is waiting on electrons to go from one spot to the other. My computer has, a, there's a lot of time with electrons on my computer. A lot of time? Especially my, like, my smartphone. Man, is it ever slow on the, uh, on the internet. Really? Oh, yeah. Mine's... I use it a lot, too, so it just, like, it's just like, uh, Not again. My, yeah, mine's definitely not as good as, uh, as my computer. Like, that's for sure. Well, that makes sense, yeah. But like, yeah, that would, if it was if it was better than my computer, I'd get rid of the laptop. How How is your new laptop? It's pretty awesome. It's nice. pretty awesome. So I got a, I got a solid state oh, hard yeah. drive, right? Oh, yeah, I gotta so do that, actually, for the channel. It's uh, 8 gigs, 8 gigs um, RAM, 2.4 processor, I think, and, yeah, the, the solid state, which is... 2.4, really? I think so. How many cores? I think it's only a dual. It's like it's only It's only an i5. What? Yeah, man. It, the solid state makes so much of a difference that you can have a subpar computer and still be faster than a hard drive. Wow. Yeah. I gotta well, look into that. Cause there's no physical components. I have a 2.8 quad core. And it's noticeably slower. I mean, it it runs uh, it runs all the information required to, to watch a, an episode through Adobe Premiere, which is a lot of space, for sure. But... I don't know, I think yours is probably lightning fast in comparison. It is. Part of it, though, is when you have a computer that fast, it's kind of like, nowadays, if I have the tiniest bit of sugar in my diet, I feel it immediately, because my body's not used to it. <laughs> yeah. Whereas, you know, if you're, if you're having it all the time, it's not going to disrupt you. So if your computer's normally slow, you can deal with a slow computer. But when your computer is supposed to be razor fast, like a, like a mm -hmm. fucking sports car... Every time it's slow, you start to notice. You're like, oh, okay, every little thing I put on it is like slowing it down, yeah, piece by piece. But no, it's been uh, it's been pretty good, man. Yeah. And it's it's funny. The fan loves to just go f a million percent immediately. <laughs> like I'll turn the computer on and start a TV show, and it'll just go, and then and then it'll slow down like a second later. That's my uh, my desktop. It always ramps up immediately and then it's like, oh, okay, maybe that was an overreaction. I, I put mine to sleep. I don't shut it off and it's in the other room. So good job, good dodge, by the way. He's not done. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back for another take. Oh boy. The slow turn speed makes fighting vehicles so difficult. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I put it to, oh. Shit, that's a lot of money. That's like a that's like a that's two two kill bounties. Yeah. So what I what I do alive. is I piss off 
one group as much as I possibly can. They had essentially zero um, favor for me. <laughs> and then, because it's the same bribe cost as far as I know. Oh. I think. I and mean, maybe it's worse, but either way, it's way easier to just put it all on one group that you hate because, yeah. you know, every group makes you kill someone. The mafia <laughs> shop. <laughs> but yeah, I put my computer to sleep. And then it's in the other room so that the recording is quiet in here. And so I click my mouse, and I know it's on because he goes, ah! <laughs> Jumps up, yeah. And it's funny because it, it thinks it needs it, but because it's a computer, it doesn't have any foresight. Right? It can't go, all right, this isn't going to be forever. Right. All it knows is right now it needs the fan on, so it just jacks it up. And then it, and then it like makes decisions afterwards? Yeah, and then it goes, oh, okay. The process has ended, right? <laughs> so, like, we still have some heat, but we just we don't need as much of a fan. It lowers it, lowers it, and then essentially it just turns off. What is that? What is that? Oh, is the that a gunship? A gunship. Gunship support. Also, one thing to keep in mind when you're playing this game for all those uh, avid mercenaries players out there, if there's no cost, it's free. So you use it. Because yeah. you'll lose it when the mission ends. So you lose either... Lose it. Yeah. Literally use it or lose it. Literally. Literally, for literally. once. For once. For once. Actually, literally. Actually. What you have to know is that this literally works. <laughs> jo Joe Rogan said you something know? about literally. He said, um, he kept he keeps saying very unique. People mm. kept telling him that's redundant, because it is. Right? If, something, right? if something's unique, it can't be more unique. Yeah. Uh, and he said, yeah, but I think it's like literally, where the definition has actually changed. And I'm like, mm, I don't think the definition's changed. Not yet. Like, people can think whatever they want to think and say whatever they want to say, but the definition is still the definition. <laughs> if the online definition yeah. changes, that doesn't mean it's real, right? I forget which dictionary it was, but they, they added LOL as a word, and that was the day I decided they weren't a dictionary. Oxford Online. Is it? Yeah, they also okay. have D apostrophe OH, Homer Simpson's dope. Okay, let's put a couple things down here. Let's lay some ground rules. Um... Uh, Jesus. Yes. So that um, was fucking amazing. <laughs> Are you sure you can make it up? No, I can't. That's yeah. If I had a tank, I could. BS is uh, an abbreviation for bros play and bullshit. Laser is an acronym because it's uh, an abbreviated version that is spelled that you actually pronounce laser, um, but you don't pronounce bus. That's that's an app. That's an abbreviation. Okay. LOL is an abbreviation because we don't because if you say lol fuck you and it's not a word <laughs> yeah like, don't why i know why i thought this would be funnier than it was it's not i'm not, funny I'm not a fan of reason. saying lol i think that's a little weird i think saying it as like a like in a in a obviously i'm joking about fuck you but if i'm saying like if like if you're making a, a joke about it that's fine but a completely um legitimate Nice fence. I really thought I was going to be able to get out of here. Anyway, LOL is just not, it's not a word. It's an abbreviation. Shouldn't be in a dictionary. Doesn't deserve to be in a dictionary. This is mission. It has, no pr it has no practical application, no reason to put it in there. You don't deserve to be in a dictionary. Oh, you did it. What? Yeah, you got it. I guess I was supposed to either bring it back or destroy it. I don't know. I like how I didn't even die. I was in it when it blew up. <laughs> Fly low. Anyway, point is... Fly low. Say lol whether you feel like it, but it's not a word. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shit! Wow. Oh. That's good. That, that, guy, felt that guy got it pretty hard. I feel so bad for that guy. Oh. I was actually imagining, what would it be like if you were, um, like, thrown out of a plane? Like, there was a, a rupture in... the in... experience? Yeah, like, imagine... It'd be violent. You, we you obviously... probably wouldn't really experience it the way that you'd think. Because it probably, like, you, if you get sucked out of a plane, it happens so fast you wouldn't really even think about it. Well, that part would, but what I'm thinking is, there's the other part, where now, you're 30,000 feet in the air with no parachute. Yeah, I think you'd pass out pretty quick. Maybe. Combination of shock, lack of air. Maybe, but just imagine the guy who gets sucked out, and now he's twirling through the air. He, like, he barely, he finally writes himself, and he's so he's falling in, like, a consistent way. And then what goes through your head like water or pavement because <laughs> then it also it becomes like the question do i want to survive a fall from thirty thousand feet like because if i do what am i gonna 
Like, how mangled will I be? Yeah, pretty mangled. From a fall like that, yeah. So do I go for the pavement option and just take survival right out of the... Yeah, I think at that point you don't really have an option. You don't really have control. That's a good point. You're just falling. Yeah. But, you know, if, if you were knowledgeable, you could. So theoretically, like, someone like you or me could do what you've seen in a movie. Yeah. You know, like, point your... your head and, and arms in the same direction and try like superman yeah, your way i don't think i would i don't think i'd have the top like the the, the, the wherewithal the pro, yeah yeah you'd just be freaking power. out oh you'd, you, be, you'd like, be looking for a panic. parachute that got sucked out after you or something <laughs> right because that could happen who knows well people have survived falls like miraculously like if you not from that high but yes definitely people have survived some pretty ridiculous no things one's ever survived thirty thousand. i don't think so man 30,000 feet? The 30,000 like, men. I don't know, but I think you'd be very, like, you would be a large fraction of terminal velocity. What if... You would probably be motoring. What if you least. fell um, straight down, you fell next to a mountain that was perfectly flat, that angled off with soft grass... At a, at a at a a slope, perfect ninety that caught you, and then then it then you slowly reduced your speed as you hit a perfect ninety degree angle, like like sorry not a perfect like you would slope down to ninety degrees from falling, and then just slide like a huge half pipe, a giant half pipe essentially. You would roll so fast that you'd probably break a couple of bones. But what if? What if you rolled like that, it was grass that went straight into a lake, and then you skipped across the lake, across the <laughs> like lake. a rock, and <laughs> into like a pillow factory or something. Okay, maybe that'd do it. Maybe you survive. Plausible? Plausible. Okay. Um, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, to clarify, I am, in fact, not mad at you for saying lol. I get nervous about stuff like that. I wouldn't say it out loud, but if you want to say it out loud, say it out loud. What's that? Lol. 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 Because you know it's a lie no matter what. Because very few people actually laugh out loud when they say That's that. That's true, right? yeah. So, um, lie or don't lie. Yeah. It's up to you. Stealth fighter attack. We should use that shit. Good for you, man. Next time we will. Nice. Next time. Next time on Bros Play. I don't like how I, I, like I said that. Hey, you said the what? I hate you if you say I, lol. Like, like, fuck you. <laughs>